Good morning, dear. Wish all of you are healthy and fine. Today we will continue solving exercises about chapter 15, which talks about the triangles and remarkable. Exercise 11, page 67. I refer to the figure below. Here we have a triangle ABC. It has three vertices, vertex A, vertex B, and vertex C. It has three sides, the first side AB, the second side BC, and the third side CA. It has three angles. The angle here is BAC. This angle is ABC, and this angle is ACB or BCA. We have to draw the height relative to AC. The height or the altitude or the orthogonal projection. It must be drawn perpendicular to AC from vertex B. Why? Since height, what do you mean by height? It's a segment issued from a vertex to perpendicular to the opposite side. Here it's relative to AC, so it must be perpendicular to AC, and it's issued from which vertex? Vertex B. By using our set square, we draw the height. This height cuts AC in H. The point of intersection of the height and the segment AC is point H. It's also called the foot of the perpendicular. Second part, draw D as the perpendicular bisector of AC. How can I draw the perpendicular bisector easing by, uh, either by using a compass or by plotting the midpoint and draw the perpendicular passing through the midpoint? We have to draw perpendicular bisector of AC. So that's our segment AC. Bring your ruler, measure it. Here it's 8 cm. So, what's uh, the midpoint of a segment of measure 8 cm? Half of 8 is 4. So, here we should plot point, which is the midpoint of AC. Midpoint of AC, it means it divides the segment into two equal segments. Now, at this midpoint, I have to draw the perpendicular and name this line D. Again, the perpendicular bisector is a line perpendicular to a segment at its midpoint. What's the question? What can you say about lines BH and D? This is BH and this is D. How are they? And I have to tell them how did I think to get the right answer. First step. BH is perpendicular to AC. Since BH is the height relative to AC, it's given. BH is perpendicular to AC since it's a height. And D is also perpendicular to AC so it's uh, because it's perpendicular bisector. From these two lines, I can say that BH and D are parallel since two lines perpendicular to the same third line are parallel to each other. Now, draw D prime, the perpendicular bisector of BC. This is segment BC. It's 9.2. Half of 9.2 is 4.6. So here at 4.6, I have to plot a point and say it's midpoint of BC. Now, at this midpoint, I have to draw the perpendicular. Perpendicular to a segment at its midpoint. So I'm drawing the perpendicular bisector of PC and I have to name it D prime. D and D prime meet or intersect at point I. This is line D and this is line D prime. They intersect at this point here. So it's where I should plot a point I. I have to justify that IA equals to IB 
equal to IC. How? I said that I is the intersection of the perpendicular bisector, right? And we know that the point of intersection of the perpendicular bisector is the center of circle circumscribed about the triangle. So, D, perpendicular bisector of AC. D prime is the perpendicular bisector of BC. D and D prime intersect at point I. Then I is the center of circle circumscribed about triangle ABC. And since I is the center of the circle, then IA, IB, and IC are radii of the same circle. And we know that radii of the same circle are equal. And that's how I prove that IA equal to IB equal to. Please write the solution of this exercise on the book. If you have any question, you can contact me. Thank you for your attention.